The best way to deal with big business, because I know some of you out there are new to all this and don't know all the arguments against antitrust, but the best way to deal with big business is to let the market work. If big business becomes unproductive, inefficient, the market will, or competition will arise in the marketplace. People will compete them away, just as Thomas Edison competed away the, the dominance of standard oil in lighting. Just as Google competed away the dominance of Yahoo. Just as Facebook competed away the dominance of, I forget the name of the social media company. So this idea, and, and of course we live right now, so we think all the big companies today, they're going to be big forever. Not necessarily. If they fail to provide a superior product, if they fail to live up to consumer expectations, if they fail to treat their employees well, then they were If you want to ask questions, use the Super Chat. Plenty, plenty of opportunities to use the Super Chat at pretty low dollar amounts, so you can ask questions that way. Yes, and by the way, ask questions. I'm not going to be able to get to all the questions, but if you want me to answer a question right now, 20 bucks, and I'll, I'll answer all the 20 plus dollar questions today and some of the others. But um, if, if you want to get in my answer, um, then you get it in the, uh, you got to ask the question in the, in the Super Chat. The marketplace deals brilliantly with competitors. And people say they're barriers to enter. Not in a free market. But it costs a lot of money to compete. Yeah. That's why you have venture capital. That's why you have investors willing to take on massive amounts of risk. That's why you have investors willing to invest in companies. They'll take on the big guys. There are constantly new social media companies being created. Constantly new search engines being created. Right now, there's a bunch of search engines that promise you privacy. And you can switch from Google to Duck, 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 Duck something, Duck, Duck something, which is promises you privacy. You can switch from Twitter to Parler. You can have Many, many options, particularly in tech, because tech is so cheap to create. DuckDuckGo, thanks. DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is a search engine, browser, a search engine, sorry, that is private. They don't track you. They don't track your searches. They don't serve you advertising. And there are others. There's a bunch of others. It's not, you can't eat the duck. It's a search engine. Man, all they've got on their minds is food. If a company grows large enough so that it abuses its power vis-a-vis -vis consumers, the market deals with that. market is unbelievably efficient. Now, it might take longer than you would like. It might not happen with the speed that you would prefer. And the product that replaces it might not be the product you prefer, but that's freedom. Government has no role in the economy. And in a true free market, there is no such thing as, as monopolies. The real danger are monopolies that government sanctions, that government protects. Indeed, that's where the word comes from. Monopoly was monopoly power granted to a business by government to dominate a field where no competition was allowed where government prohibited competition. The East India Company, for example, was a company, was a monopoly that the government granted. And nobody else was allowed to deal with East India trade other than this country company. That was in Great Britain. It was actually granted by the king. That's a monopoly to fear. Generally, government involvement in the economy, government choosing winners and losers, government dictating the terms of trade, that's what we should be fearing. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think.
meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. 